Good morning, uh, everyone. It's uh, good to be here uh, giving a devotion. Uh, it's, it's certainly different, very difficult for me <laughs> to get this to get this put together. Uh, and this, it, today, I would like to. Uh, I know everybody's talked about COVID and probably sick of hearing about COVID, but uh, there's some things I think I, I'd like to share uh, this morning with you. Uh, and I'd actually like to devote uh, uh, this time to prayer. So uh, as, as, as I'm going, talking to you, if you'll be thinking about prayer requests that you have and uh, preparing your hearts to pray uh, at the end of the the, the, the uh, devotion here I'll pray for us and uh, we'll all actually we'll all corporately pray together uh, and going uh, lift, lifting our prayers up to God uh, as you can see my attire is uh, totally different now uh, here on Sundays we got a t-shirt on and some shorts uh, this is the way we worship on Sunday mornings now uh, really laid back uh, sitting in the recliner and it's pretty cool actually I'm kind of I enjoy the, the things that have been different I've been really enjoying being with my family uh, seems like we're getting really close uh, even though we're together quite a bit now it looked like it would be tough but uh, it's actually a pretty good thing the girls are home uh, every night just about they usually would be gone somewhere one of them would be here we'd hardly ever have all of them together but now we have them all together all the time and uh so that's that's been good that's that's been uh, uh, a real good time i get to eat lunch at home i bet i i think i've eaten lunch at home uh, more times in the last six weeks uh than i have probably in the last 20 years so uh it saves me a lot of money also eating a sandwich instead of eating out at lunch on the other hand there's some people who are hurting yeah, this thing is, uh, they're hurting because uh, a lot of them have lost their jobs. A lot of people have lost businesses, especially the restaurant owners. They are really, really hurting. And uh, I'm sure there's all types of businesses that are hurting really bad. Uh, uh, you know, people's retirement funds plunged at one time. I don't know if they've recovered or not. Uh, uh, not only physical needs, you know, that they have, but there's also emotional needs. There are people who have lost loved ones because of this. Uh, they have people who are sick and uh, being treated. Uh, they have to. They have to be uh, uh, alone. Uh, they can't even be with their loved ones who are sick. You know, uh, I think it's it's. It's a terrible, terrible thing for someone who's who's actually has someone sick, and who's who uh, someone who is sick, you know, and uh, and they have lost their lives. They had to die alone and without their family. A lot of them, their family couldn't be with them. So it's uh, it's been some tragedy going on during these times, and uh, uh, wives having babies and only ha being able to have one person with you. Your, your spouse could maybe be with you. Early on, he couldn't even be with you, but now the spouse can be with you and uh, uh, just your family can't be real close with you. It's been some very challenging and difficult times for people. And uh, we have a friend who's a nurse and uh, a doctor, and that's one of the people I, also that I wanna pray for, is those who are taking care of, care of those people, the nurses and the doctors. Uh, they have been working tirelessly in, in cities. Uh, in Jackson, we have two friends that are nurses there, and uh, they, have, uh, they have been overwhelmed, having to wear masks and all the PPE, uh, the protective equipment, you know, it bruises your face, and it's just, it's just a, really a hassle. Uh, we have one of the nurses, is, uh, she works in critical care, and uh, uh, she's seen a lot of death. Uh, she had three 
patients to code at the same time here about a week ago. It's really overwhelming for these uh, young women and young men and these doctors who are, and then all of the older ones too, but it's really, it's really tough on them. They need our prayers, as, the, as so do the families who have, have lost loved ones and those who are sick and those who have lost jobs and those who have lost businesses. They need our prayers. And so this morning I'd like to uh, read from James chapter 5, and we're going to read the prayer of faith, starting with verse 13. Is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. Is anyone happy? Let them sing songs of praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. Elijah was a human being, even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain. It did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Again, he prayed, and the heavens gave, gave rain, and the earth produced its crops. My brothers and sisters, if, if one of you should wander from the faith to the truth, and someone should bring that person back, remember this. Whoever turns a sinner from the error of their way will save them from, the, from death and cover over a multitude of sins. Okay, I know time is uh, of the essence here. I need to cut this thing short as I can, but I, now if we would all cleanse our hearts and, and get our prayer requests, and let's corporately, right now, for a, a minute or two, let's go to the Lord in prayer and lift up uh, the needs that we have individually and the needs that all these hurting people need have. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we love you and praise you and thank you for loving us. We thank you for keeping us, Lord. Uh, we know that, Lord, uh, this too will pass, this thing that we have. And you never said that we wouldn't have troubles. It said, indeed, that we would have troubles, but you said you would never leave us or forsake us, Lord, and I thank you for that. I pray now and come to you and ask you to forgive me of my sins, Lord, and I lift up the prayers and needs of our fellowship, those who are listening, their prayer requests now I lift up to you, Father, and I pray in Jesus' name that you would hear our prayers, that you would touch them, Lord, that you would bless them, Father, with the healing, and whatever their need might be, that their, their needs may be met, Lord. And we pray for those who have loved ones, Lord, who are sick and hurting, Lord. We pray for those who have lost loved ones, Lord, and are mourning, Lord. We pray you comfort for them and peace to be with them, Father. We pray for healing for the sick, for recovery. We pray for this thing to pass quickly. We pray for the nurses, Lord, and the doctors. We lift them up to you. We pray that you would renew their strength daily, Father. We pray that you would touch their hearts and minds, give them strength, Lord, that they wouldn't grow weary, Lord, in this work, Lord. I uh, know I want you to be with them, Father. I pray in Jesus' name. Oh, and I just thank you so much for them, and I lift them up to you, Lord. I pray for the churches themselves in this need, the pastors, Lord, who are having to do different things. Uh, this is such a strange thing that we're doing. The worship leaders, Lord, we thank you for all of those, and we pray for them, Lord, in this time. And we pray, Lord, to, and ask you to, to, to quickly, that this thing would pass from us quickly, Lord Jesus. We just thank you so much for loving us. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. In Jesus' name I pray, Lord. Amen.